वेलकम बैक लिसनर्स दिस इज संध्या योर रीडर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग रीडिंग फॉर यू आई वुड लाइक टू से यू कैन टेक नोट्स फ्रॉम दिस ऑडियो बिकॉज द डेटा इज ऑथेंटिक एंड इट विल हेल्प इन योर प्रिपरेशन एंड रिविजन फॉर यू पी एस सी एंड अदर गवर्नमेंट सर्विस एग्जाम्स एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो लिसन टू दीज ऑडियोज फॉर योर knowledge enhancement and other things so i will start reading the second chapter which is prehistoric phase the ancient human history is classified into two categories the prehistoric era and the historic era prehistoric era encompasses the time before the invention of writing while the history period encompasses the time afterwards since there are no written records in the prehistoric era we do not know how much of human history is in this period the prehistoric period has been further divided into three ages that are stone age bronze age iron age the stone age began about 2.6 million years ago when researchers found the earliest evidence of human using stone tools and lasted until about 3300 bc when the bronze age began there are three phases in stone age that are paleolithic mesolithic neolithic the paleolithic and mesolithic age reflects the hunting gathering lifestyle of humans in contrast in the neolithic phase humans started to settle and indulge in crop cultivation and animal husbandry the neolithic period is notable because it marks the beginning of human settlement down further than roaming the stone age was replaced by a civilization that used metal for the first time in human history this phase of human history is called chalcolithic age chalcolithic or copper age refers to a transitional period where early copper metallurgy appeared alongside the widespread use of stone tools the chalcolithic culture is followed by the iron age culture which uses metals the iron age is the time of human history when ferrous metallurgy fir- first appeared paleolithic age The Paleolithic period started when the man first learned how to make stone tools. The discovery of how to make the first hatched spear and first fire was the earliest man man's greatest achievement. The old stone age of Paleolithic culture of Indian developed in Paleocenic epoch or the Ice Age, which is geological period of the age. when the earth was covered with ice and weather was so cold that human or plants life could not survive however the earliest species of man could have existed in the tropical region where ice melted food gathering and hunting were the primary occupation of these people and paleolithic men learned to cover themselves in animal skin there was no knowledge of houses pottery agriculture It was only in later stages they discovered fire. The river Tapi, Godavari, Bhima and Krishna have yielded a large number of Paleolithic sites. Lower Paleolithic age. All of the tools were made by extracting flakes from the stone block or core until they look the right size and shape. Tools used were hand axes, choppers and cleavers. the tools were rough and heavy bori in maharashtra near pune is considered to be the earliest lower paleolithic site in some parts of india like hongsi in karnataka limestone was the main material middle paleolithic age middle paleolithic tools were primarily made of smaller lightweight tools and blades the era was dominated by the flake industry which produces tools such as scraper points and borers the size of tools dis- decreased in this age 
In the northwest, lots of stone tools, most of Middle Paleolithic, have been founded in the Potwar Plateau between Indus and Jhemlam rivers. Upper Paleolithic Age The era was characteristic by advanced advances in tool technology as well as an improvement in human cognitive capacity. In this age, the size of tools further decreased. The saw it saw the introduction of microlith, which are made of variety of silica rich raw material. The tools of this age were found in Bhimbetka, Kurnool Caves, Son Valley and Patne in Maharashtra. The earliest painting at Bhimbetka date from this phase, that is the upper Paleolithic phase. During this phase, the people lived in small groups. Hunting is expressed as the main subsistence activity in rock paintings found in Bhimbetka. Salient features of Paleolithic culture in India. During Paleolithic period, people were nomadic herders. They travelled around the world for fishing, hunting and gathering food. In the beginning, people used to hunt big and slow moving animals like elephants. But with the development of hunting tools, they started to hunt small, fast moving animals like antelope, wild boars, etc. Owing to a lack of evidence, historians generally find it difficult to comment on their social structure. However, large manufacturing sites dating from this period have been discovering, indicating that people were able to meet the needs of distant communities. This, is, this in fact, hints at some part of Paleolithic social organizations. We can also decipher some aspect of their religious belief. A mother goddess has been identified as a carved piece of bone discovered in Lohanda Nala, which is in Uttar Pradesh, Belan Valley. Around the same time, an ostrich shell head was found in Patani. Almost definitely, this tooth was used as a pendant. All of this suggested that in this process, there might be some sort of religious belief system. Mesolithic Age it was a transitional phase between the Paleolithic and Neolithic phase. The people of this age lived on hunting, fishing and food gathering initially but later on they also domesticated animals and cultivated plants, thereby paving the way for agriculture. Mesolithic people used different kinds of stone tools which were tiny stone artifacts often not more than 5 cm in size. Therefore, these tools are called the microlith. The Mesolith men started to wear clothes made of animal skin. Bagor in Rajasthan, Morhana, Pahar in Uttar Pradesh, coastal plains of Odisha are few Mesolith sites of India. Salient features of Mesolithic culture in India the Mesolithic people lived in semi-permanent and temporary settlements. Therefore, domestication of animals, horticulture and primitive cultivation also started. The beginning of plain cultivation was seen in the past, year, past period of this phase. During this time, they resorted to a small amount of pastoralism and minimal trade. Though pottery was absent at most Mesolith sites, they have been found in Langnaj in Gujarat and in Kamur region of Mirzapur, Uttar Pradesh. Adamgarh, Bhimbetka, Mirzapur are Pratap and Pratapgarh are Mesolith sites known for their rich art and paintings. Animals are the most common subject of many of these depictions with deer or antelope being the most commonly depicted while tiger and monkeys are uncommon. Bones of wild animals, rhinosaurus, have been excavated from Lang Gulch. Several human, human skeletons and a large number of microliths have been recovered from these phases. Neolithic Age It is also termed as Neolithic Revolution since it introduced a lot of important changes in man's social and economic life. The Neolithic age saw man
turning into a food producer from food gatherer the term neolithic revolution revolution is given by v jordan childe the neolithic people lived more settled life and paved the way for the dawn of civilization the neolithic people did not dwell far from the mountainous region since they were entirely reliant on stone arms and tools they mostly lived in hilly rivers valley rock shelters and the slopes of the hills the use of pottery and the wheels as well as subsequent invention of craft such as spinning weaving and bead making indicated the neolithic phases uniqueness pottery was first appeared in this age on a large scale and indulged grey ware and black burnished ware with a settled life and expansion of agriculture people needed pottery to store their food grains the people used microlith plates in addition to tools made of polished stones a detailed understanding of metallurgy was not established during the neolithic period it is thus also dubbed as metal less society cultivation of wheat barley fruits corns like ragi and horse gram and lentils has been reported from the beginning and between 6000 bc and 5000 bc we can see division of labor based on gender in neolithic period we find women engaged in agriculture activities during the neolithic period as a result of increased agriculture demand women began to work in the pottery industry men hunted and fished as they had done in the past important neolithic sites include mehargarh in pakistan chirand in bihar burzaum in kashmir and halo in karnataka etc salient features of neolithic culture in india in the northern himalayas the best known neolithic site is burzaum in kashmir where the earliest occupation was characterized by pit dwelling with colonial roofs gurfkal literally the cave of the potter in an, is another important neolithic site in kashmir it was sited inhabited by potters who utilized the cave but into the kareva interestingly the site is still inhabited by the potters who see these caves as their inheritance the ancient of sedentary ruler, uh, rural societies led to the building of mud brick houses rather than grass hut these houses were somewhat more permanent than the grass huts community festivals also begin during this time period the butchering place at the budi hall denotes the importance of communal animal butchering the people of kochar hills of assam lived in mud walled house and their handmade pots were decorated with basket impression koldeva and maha gara lying south of alabar have thrown evidence of many strata of circular huts along with the crude handmade pottery the most intriguing finding is evidence of rice dating between 5440 and 4530 bc which is the earliest evidence of rice not only in india but also somewhere on the globe neolithic people were aware of the art of making boats and could weave cotton and wool to make cloth at this age man started growing cotton and learned about clothes instances instances of early cave dwelling have also been discovered with wall decorating and scene of hunting and dancing chalcolithic age chalcolithic age the culture based on the use of copper and stone was termed as chalcolithic meaning stone copper phase this culture exhibits a distinct regional identity chalcolithic age is divided into three stages which is pre harappan harappan age and post harappan age the people living in this age were characterized by rural settlement and were not acquainted acquainted by burnt bricks with burnt bricks they lived in thatched houses made of mud bricks 
एनिमल वर डोमेस्टिकेटेड एंड फूड ग्रेन्स वर ग्रोन बाई पीपल लिविंग इन द स्टोन कॉपर पीरियड दे हंटेड डियर एंड डोमेस्टिकेटेड काउस शीप्स गोट्स पिक्स एंड बफेलोज पीपल ड्यू पीपल ड्यूरिंग द स्टोन कॉपर एज यूज इज वेरियस फॉर्म ऑफ पॉटरी वन ऑफ विच इज नोन एज ब्लैक एंड रेड पॉटरी एंड सीम्स टू हैव बीन वाइडली प्रेवलेंट द पॉटर्स वील ऑबर्स ऑल्सो इन इंट्रोड्यूस एंड पेंटिंग विद वाइट लीनियर पैटर्न ऑल्सो नन द चालपोलिथिक पीपल वर एक्सपर्ट कॉपर स्मिथ्स दे न्यू द आर्ट ऑफ कॉपर स्मेल्टिंग एंड वर गुड स्टोन वर्कर एज वेल द एज ऑफ मार्क the the age also marked the beginning of social inequalities as chiefs lived in rectangular houses while the commoners lived in round huts the the villages consisted consisted of more than 35 houses of different sizes rect- circular and rectangular in shapes the chalcolithic economy is considered as a village economy some of the important chalcolithic sites are ahar gilund घमा दाइमाबाद मालवा सोनपुर सोनगांव इनामगांव एंड नेवासा इन महाराष्ट्र कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंडिया चालकोलिथिक कल्चर द चालकोलिथिक कल्चर ऑफ इंडिया इंक्लूड्स नॉन अर्बन नॉन हरप्पन कल्चर दैट आर डिस्टिंग्विश बाय द यूज ऑफ कॉपर एंड स्टोन पैस्टरलिज्म agriculture hunting and fishing were some of the alternative subsistence method of you they used farming was performed with a wooden or bony plow and irrigation system they were cattle pastoralism but when the climate was adverse they switched to sheep goat pastoralism these people used to live in mud and mud brick houses that were generally rectangular or circular in shape the houses had a larger number of rooms a ramp board and a thatched roof they were devoted of cult of bull and mother goddess fire worship seems to have been a very widespread phenomenon among the chalcolithic period of prehistoric india this can be deduced from the fact that fire altars altars have been found from the large number of chalcolithic sites during the course of excavations pots played an important role in the daily life so we see consistency and specialization in pot making these are black on red painted wars wares but various subculture have been different characteristics pots and other funeries object have been found along with the burials of malwa and jarve people these also indicate that the people might have had a belief in life after death they also engaged in excavation with other cultures and show by the people show by the presence of foreign goods and the good in their region and the tools in their region they honed their copper smith skills however since copper was scarce and only mined in rajasthan they made tools out of the bones and stones chalcolithic sites belonging to the jarve culture have been discovered throughout maharashtra madhya pradesh and other states the key features of this culture introduce red pottery generally with matte surface bearing painting in black jarve is a small village and an archaeological site in maharashtra the chronological series of india's chalcolithic culture is as follows kaitha culture banas or ahar culture malwa culture jarve culture chirand culture pandu raj dp gola bai sasan nagarjuna konda brahmagiri etc the megalithic culture A megalith is a large stone that has been used alone or in combination with other stones to build a structure or monument. These were used to mark burial sites and there and were carefully arranged by people. There are a few characteristics that also of their burials have in common. Mostly the dead were buried with distinctly distinctive pots which are known as black and red ware 
Iron tools or weapon have also been discovered as well as horse skeleton, horse equipment and stone and gold ornament. There is also a broad time evolution with the megalith in central India and the upper Indus valley where the oldest megalith are found. While those in the east are the much later date. Which while evidences of their settlement in scar is scarce, their burial has been discovered in large number throughout the Deccan region. Most of the information about the Iron Age in South India comes from the excavation of megalith burial. Iron objects have been found universally in all the megalith sites right from Junapani near Nagpur in Vidharbha region down to Adi Chanalur in Tamil Nadu in the far south. So here this topic ends. Thank you so much for listening to this audio till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye-bye.